Oh, hello everybody, how are you doing? It's been a while since I filmed a video, but here I am. So today, I just wanted to show you guys how I make my veneers. It's no different from anybody else on YouTube that's doing clay, the way they make their veneers. But I love this process. It's nice and calming and relaxing and um, beautiful results. So as you see, I have my supplies. I have me some black Sculpey Primo. I have my blades and I have a little mixing cup because I have this concoction of acrylic paints that I put together and I can't give you <laughs> what it is because honestly I'm just throwing different kinds of paints into this little thing and stirring them up so there you go so I'm taking off my little piece of um, black clay I just recently got my um, clay machine from Ed Street and when I tell you I love that clay machine now I love my Atlas Wellness 152 but the one I got from Ed Street is a little bit bigger and I'm sorry I don't know the exact model but it's, I think it's a 180 and it's a little bit longer and it just smooths the clay out so well so that's what I'm doing I'm just getting it ready to go and flatten it out to put it in the clay machine So I didn't condition this clay as much as I should have, really. Um, and I realized that once I got it. I've been working with clay. I have, I have been doing videos, but I have been working with clay in the background. I don't know what happened to me that day. So I put it back through the machine, as you will see, to get it a little bit more smoother and a little bit more conditioned. See? I told you. Don't it look better? <laughs> So these stencils can be found on Amazon. They're actually fondant stemples, uh, stemples, stencils for cakes. I um, have them in my Amazon store for easy access. The link is in my description box. But um, I just get them and I put them on top um, and I get my hefty roller that I got from Teresa Salgado of Tiny Pandora. I need to buy another one because I dropped Betsy and now she is kind of shattered but she still works <laughs> so I roll it out and I tried to show this by picking it up in a few minutes to show you the side I roll it until you know it adheres itself to the clay and you can just see a little bit of it coming up above the stencil you can't really tell really well in this but that's what I'm trying to show you the clay is like up above the, stem, the stencil just in the slightest. That's the way I like to see it before I start with my clay. This is my little mix that I was telling you about. It's just different kinds of blue clay and um, I'm sorry, different kinds of blue paint. And I also put a dab of alcohol ink in it just for color. So that's why I'm telling you, I can't give you the exact what I put in here. It, it's just a mix of everything. And it just gives me a good um, result. I feel like it adheres to um, the stencil and the clay. Now, I like using this little um, smoothing device here, but when I use this, as you will see, I feel like it does a good first pass. And it's probably because, you know, I'm not actually doing a silk screen, it's a stencil. And I think the stencil has more depth than um, a, a silk screen so that may be where the issue comes in so the more I scrape across it I will scrape off the paint rather than laying it on top of it so I switch to a brush which works out so much better
and I let this dry, not completely, but I'll walk away and I'll let it dry for about 10 minutes. And you'll, you'll see the difference because I'm gonna make another um, veneer in this video and you'll see the difference of waiting for it to dry a little bit versus being in a hurry and not letting it dry. <laughs> so I let it dry just a little bit before I take the stencil off. And you don't wanna let it dry completely also because you may ruin your stencil and it'd be harder for the paint to come off of it. So as you can see, some parts are dry, some parts are wet. And I just lay this to the side. I don't touch it, I don't look at it or anything. Um, and I usually lay them out and forget about them overnight before I work with them the next day. So this is my second one that I'm making. Love this stencil. You can also find it on my Amazon store if you need it. Um, the same process, laying it on top, making sure it's adhering, rolling over it until you can kind of tell where it's adhering because some places you'll see that the black clay has touched the the inner parts and then on some places it hasn't you'll see a bubble so you can just keep turning it around until you've pushed all of those areas of bubbles this color shift i wanted it to work so badly but i think because of the um the texture of this paint it wasn't really adhering i think it also may have had something to do with the scraper i tried to use it again because i really wasn't sure with the last one whether it was the scraper or whether it was me because the last time i did this that i did not film i only used the scraper so there you go i don't know what was going on with that <laughs> but um so i got my tr my trusty brush and it still really wasn't adhering and it was a little bit too thick in places. I don't know what was going on, but I finally got it together and I added some red um, red acrylic paint to this that wasn't color shift and it kind of leveled the texture out. This one, as I told you before, I did not wait for it to dry. So watch this. <laughs> Yes, leave it to me to make a mess like that. Let me clean it up. Okay, here we go. It's came out, it came out really pretty in real life. It, the edges of it has the color shift and the middle had the red paint, so it was really pretty. So just showing you both of them. I had fun making these. I hope you had fun watching. Look down in my description box if you want those stencils and Hit me up on my um, Facebook page and show me what you made. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Love ya.